Okay, welcome back Tank Nation. We got another jewel for you. So guess what? Y'all stay tuned. Sir, this is Tank Nation. Welcome and tell us your name and where you're from. My name is Bill Phillips. I'm from Mary Esther, Florida. And I uh, flew out with these uh, L-Birds, these liaison aircraft. This one in particular is kind of rare. This is uh, an L-2 Luscombe. And it served in the Panama Canal Zone, defending the Panama Canal during World War II. And it was, it's an Army airplane. They called it the UC-20. Uh, tw and uh, two people, pilot, observer in the back, and a uh, nice little airplane. Well, this one's side by side, actually. OK. Most, all these others are front and back, tandem. OK. So if you don't mind, tell our viewers, like, your ranking. What did you did in the military? In the Air Force, I was a lieutenant colonel, All right. and I did two things. First, I was a security police officer, and I kind of enjoyed that, and I uh, helped guard, I supervised guys who were guarding uh, Titan II missiles on alert and KC-135 tankers on strategic alert, and I did that for a couple of years, and then I got out and went to law school, came back in as a JAG, a judge advocate, and I did that for the rest of 25 years in the Air Force, and loved being the JAG. That was a great job. Awesome. So we can go to, to the inside and give us a little quick tour of the inside real quick. Yeah. Okay. What are we looking at here? You see the pilots sitting next to the observer over there. Okay. And they each have controls. Um, they can carry the total weight of them and their luggage and their clothes and all their gear, no more than 340 pounds. Okay. But... Um, <coughs> Most of these, these L-Birds were made by Stinson or Taylor Craft or Piper. You've heard of Piper Cubs, I know. Correct. And uh, they were adopted for use by the Army when they realized that they needed utility aircraft. Now, they called them liaison aircraft, which means you're going to go liaise with somebody else, meet with them, communicate and coordinate with them. And, uh, but they were far more useful than just that. They were used for artillery spotting. In other words, you put an observer in the back seat of one of those green L birds. Okay. That observer had have a plotting board and a radio and binoculars. And he could look for the enemy that's trying to hide on the ground. And when he finds them, he, he could call in artillery on it. So that was very powerful. That was very useful. And for that reason, the enemy didn't shoot at these airplanes. Even though they're low and slow and they don't have any, any weapons to defend themselves, the enemy learned that if you shot at one of these L-Birds, you'd have artillery raining down on your position, and that's not a good thing for them. So that, they also, we'd never had uh, helicopters back in World War II, so you could take one of those L-Birds and take the observer in the back out and put a stretcher in there. You could, you could do a casualty evacuation for one guy on a stretcher. Okay, wow, amazing. So they were used for all kinds of things, and General Eisenhower and General Patton each had their own L-Bird plane and they were pilots. So they could fly themselves to meetings with the other guys. And they could fly out and observe where everybody was on the battlefield and make up their plans. So they were very, very useful little airplanes. Awesome. Well, once again, sir, thank you so much for spending time here on Tank Nation. We enjoyed you and thank you for your service. Good talking to you. Y'all be great. Me Boop -boop. too.